Yo, kind of interesting. We started day three here and now we're on day four. Yo, welcome back everybody to uh, day number four now of a Torg mod. Oh, last episode, we got this beautiful thing. Uh, we got that too. We got a new void shield, a uh, bonus package, which I barely use. Cooldown, you know how it goes. And we're messing with the new Torg employee, the uh, the other one, which is a Goliath. So he can level up to a Goliath, which is pretty awesome. Uh, the build, no bar, and off we go. So now we have opportunity, and I want to get myself a uh, Allegiance Relic for a Torg. Oh, yeah. And then we got to do home movies. Let's do it. On the previous episode, I did ask, what is your craziest world drop moment in Borderlands 2? And our chosen comment's going to be from Delta Ray. First time I was playing through the game, I got a B shield from Roland's personal chest after Control Core. That is awesome. And I don't think I've ever seen a legendary in that chest. Maybe I have, but... Uh, the cool thing about that is the fact that it's Roland's personal stash, right? So he's been hoarding that B shield. I think that's pretty funny and definitely a crazy find for your first playthrough. Anyways, thank you guys all for the comments and let's get back to the episode. Bob! You know, it's worth having the floaty physics, right? I get knocked back so easily. <laughs> this is so fun. I like this. We don't get to do melee without like a blade usually. Oh! Oh no! I didn't even know he was still alive. You guys saw that, right? Apparently, my tiny became a godlive. Ha. Ah. Alright, let's quit. And yo, guys, let's farm. Wait, what? Upload footage. Hi, Brick. Alright, click green button. Did it. Okay, now we can farm. Oh! Hello. Can I get that curb blaster? Uh, scroll down. Mini items. Okay, that is a Ravager. Hold on a second here. Oh, they're 22, though. So, yeah, that Ravager would not be better. Also, Hyperion Grip. I appreciate the alpha, though. Thank you. Boom. Angel told me not to come. Nope. <gasps> Bro, purple rarity, too? Okay, we're taking it. I can't say no. All right, we're good. Thank you, game. Level up. This is it, Do perfectly level 25. Look at that. And then, yeah, let's go off to Oasis and get our class mod. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, dude. First crash for today. Rip. Wait! Yeah, we lost our purple relic with the game crash. Whatever. All right, blue rarity. We're losing 4% from the one we had before, but we'll take it. Level up again. And yeah, off to Oasis. Let's do it. And we're good. Okay. It must have been like a random crash. Not specific to uh, spawning here. Whoop. 200 points. Nuke. Oh. Oh. Yo, that's huge, because I hate going around and, like, climbing on the roof to, like, chase down enemies. Thank you, my friend. Now he's cornered. Bye. Rip. Oh, look at that. He's, like, over... Huh? Tiny. Rude. It doesn't say he, like, does that, right? That's a bug. He's not supposed to become unfriendly. Betrayed. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Maybe because his helmet got knocked off, it accidentally switched it to be enemy again. You've met Lionel. How are you, Lionel? Torque o'clock! Dude, I want that Iridium, but like, come on now. It is a loss. Rip Iridium. Bruh! My face is inside the banner. I can't even see shade. Dude, he looks so weird in the boat. Look at his, uh, back. He gets squished down to Axton's, uh, model size. Boom. He's really gonna try to chase down the boat. What a legend. Ah! Thanks! Uh, Grendel, we'll take that. The floating sign's still there? No, he patched it, bro. It was too overpowered. No, it's still here. I would explode it, but like, you know, that'd be disrespectful. Nice. That felt good. All right, let's farm. Although I could stash farm like these class mods. Also, what a jump. Woo. Yo, we actually got on the roof too. That's insane. Okay, indecisive, killing nuke, go punch some bad guys. We're not doing that. Ooh, champion? Dude, wait, hold on. Technically self-defense. That's for our Goliath. And the show must go on. Dude, that could be an overpowered Goliath. And also, we're getting more healing out of it, too. Yeah, we're taking that, I think. We'll find new ones later on, too. I'm sure we haven't seen them all yet. All right, moving on. All right, and let's get a 12-pounder, and then we'll do a uh, bunker. Hi, friend. Welcome to Grenade Jump. Oh, bye. Let's get... You know what? No, you get the deal with my Goliath, friend. Also, I launched. What the heck? Aw, oh, first run, no drop. Too bad. That's okay. Oh, sorry about your face. Torg is too tall. I can't get the chest here. Aww. I'm crouching too, by the way. You just can't see the animation. No. <laughs> oh, you know what? 
Oh, hey, we got it. Dude, double Torg? 23, though. Dang it. Oh, okay. And of course, this one's overleveled. I'll pick it up in a moment. See, look at that. Even with non-matching parts, one level higher. Makes it better. Oh my goodness. 24, at least, you know, double Torg again. We'll take that for the moment. Finally, on level. Let's get out of here. All right, we're good. Move on. Back to the main story. Let's blow up the bunker. I don't want to respect because we're so close to the capstones. Or so close to our next tier and then capstone. So we're going to stay the same build. I like your haircut. Before we proceed on the bunker, it is time. New name. Let's go. For day number four. What you got? Christmas is around the corner. So let's do it. Torg. Miss. The skip, dude. He makes that so easily. I think he does have a little more jump height. Level up, dude. Valley of Death. Gives you a random chance to deal infinite melee damage to an enemy. This is it. I heard about this. It's a rare, 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 rare chance. But if you do, you could like one shot a raid boss. So we could punch, you know, Veracitus for an hour and maybe get lucky and get the one shot. We'll do that later on, but not yet. Okay, sustained fusion. Increase action skill time. Upon dealing melee damage above a certain threshold, you gain health. If you deal sufficient damage while your action skill is active, you gain additional action skill time, increases melee damage. That's not too bad, maybe. And then finally, I take it back. Press Q to fire out a barrage. Yeah, we're taking that. No question. Press Q to fire out a barrage of nuclear plasma. Nuclear plasma is affected by roid damage. Oh, 1 in 150 for the chance on that? Really? Dude, that's not like super rare. Okay, we can maybe like farm that for a raid boss. We might try it. We'll see. Three, two, one. Oh my goodness. That was one click. One. Dude, that's sick. That's so cool. Yeah, one out of three right now. We can like boost to two more points. And I really want to. Self damage? Ah, uh, it does self damage. Gotcha. I don't want to waste uh, half an hour doing this today. Like, I want to play Torg mod. So I'm going to snipe him. Like that. Cool. Oh! Don't jump off. Okay, so I cannot shoot during that animation. Which is a little bit unfortunate, but I understand it. Oh no. Oh no. You know, I never considered that he could steal my kills. Wait. Ooh, we're good. You know, we could try to get a god life. Hold on. Dude. All right, tiny god. We've done it. Rip. Uh, never mind. <laughs> All right, we'll spawn a new one. Sag. Welcome back, tiny. He lost his helmet. Oh. Oh, you're right. He did. Uh oh. But he's still fighting for me. Kind of. All right, he's friendly again. <laughs> that is pretty funny. Oh, he's trying to fight Bunker, but he can't, like, punch Bunker, so he can't do anything. That's unfortunate. Bye, Bunker. Rip. Yo, give me a 94 sham. You won't. Oh, it's so laggy there. Why oh, so laggy? I don't, I don't want to crash. Let me save. Scan me, bro. Scan my pecs. We got to do the dunk, bro. Oh, no. How do I get this? Oh, no. This already feels wrong. Ah, oh, dude, come on. He's got a bigger hitbox, all right? Give me a break. You're floating. Don't worry about it. How did you do that? Can he get out? Wait, hold on. Let's get Goliath in the cutscene. Can we have like an epic cutscene now? What a great cutscene. Belly. Just, just belly. Let's farm a little bit because I do want to see if we can get more class mods. Yo. Okay, we're taking that. So weird. I would not normally take this. But like, for this mod? Yeah. All right, moving on. We're going to spec the infinite melee damage skill and punch the um, target dummy. And see if you can get it to go off and see what happens. Gives you a random chance to deal infinite melee damage to an enemy. Let's see if we can get it to go off. If you guys want to count, go for it. 3, 2, 1, go. 27, 28, 29, 30, 53, 54. Yup, it's just visual damage cap. There you go. 54, we got lucky, I think. Wow. Yeah, hey, we did 99999K in normal mode. And dude, for a one-point skill, if you're running a melee build, why not just have it? There's no reason not to. Left tree or middle tree? We have to check out the new tier. What are we doing? I'll let you pick. You know, new tree is awesome. All right, we'll do it. Middle tree. And we'll see what these do. So let me grab my normal skills that I normally get. EMP. Your action skill nuke will now also deal shock damage. Ah. Enemies hit by your action skill nuke will gain an increased shield recharge delay permanently and become slowed for a short period of time. The 11th dentist. Every 11th nuke does 11 times damage? Too many syllables. Apologize. Wait, what? 
What does that do? All right, 11 times damage nuke every 11th nuke. I'm doing that for sure. We need the bottom boom. I know it's not Torg, but like rocket jumping later on. Yeah, we got to get it. Nuke. Also level up. Wow. You know what? Now we'll grab too many syllables, see what happens, but I don't know. Longer names, higher damage. Oh, wait a minute. Dude, no, you reminded me. I heard about this in the Discord like, dude, so many months ago. Yeah, this skill, I'm pretty sure we know now, is the longer the enemy's name is, the more damage you get. So if the enemy has a really long name, you get more damage. Now, what is the calculation for it? Is it like 1% damage per letter? Yeah, if name long, more damage. Rip Pyro Caustic Pete the Invincible. That's a long name, yeah. Dude, the Invincible Son of Chrome are actually Invincible. Oh my goodness. It's a 1.3 damage skill, so why not? All right, Sawtooth is scaled. So let's farm King Mong. So when I throw my nuke out, there's a counter above my XP bar. I didn't even see that. So we have two right now. Three. Okay, so we can like see when it happens. Yeah, farming the nuke is definitely not worth it. I will say that. Level up, dude. Ah, I got him before you. Oh, that's the end for today. But before you go, we do have a question. And that is going to be, what is something you own that has sentimental value to you? I'll share one of mine, and that is going to be a silver Morgan dollar that my grandfather gave me years ago. And the way I received it was through a hard day's worth of work at a shop. And every time I look at it, I think about the hard work that went into getting it. And I thank my grandfather for giving me such an amazing gift. Anyways, be sure to comment down below and you might be featured in the next episode. You guys have an awesome day and I will see you all later. Peace out.